Hello everyone and thanks for watching my channel again and I am back with a tech video and I will be talking about a program called Sim Racing Up Server and this is a little program that is capable of doing a lot a lot of stuff running alongside iRacing and the main feature that I will be focusing on is the pit crew countdown and I also will be uh, talking a little bit about the subject of using third-party software in iRacing. So follow me and thanks for watching! Oh, where's my pit stall? Oh, I missed it! Damn it! Yeah, I'm putting <laughs> the time number eight. Oh, that was Oh shit! Oh. I probably believe we're gonna have to come down pit road. We all make mistakes on the track when driving, but uh, some of them seem more stupid than others. Missing the pit box area and speeding in pit lane are examples of that seems very unnecessary and could be avoided by practicing more both green and yellow flag pit stop over and over again. But doing practice and learning from that is not enough. We will, from time to time, when racing, be in a position on the track that just nails us with stress and nervousness, and the risk of making a mistake are increased despite more awareness of your surroundings. This is where program like a pit countdown feature comes to place and help you out and even better combined with a pit lane speed warning. Start looking for your sign. Five, four, three, two, one. Start the sign. Yes, I am. <laughs> iRacing do not have those functions and therefore we must seek so-called third-party program for running that simultaneously in the background with the sim. I use programs like iSpeed, Trading Paint, Sim Dash, Sim Commander and GRT for adding different kind of features to the sim that enhances the experience and realism. A new addition to my list is a program called Sim Racing Up Server. Before we dive into that program, I need to mention a few things. A debate around this kind of program, and especially the awesome GRT being a way of getting extra advantages, are always alluring in the bushes. I have been in contact with iRacing staff a few months back just to be on the safe side and they stated that programs like GRT are fine to use. But despite that there are an ethical approach to it all because the programs do give you advantages when racing in comparison to running vanilla iRacing. But as long as the staff says it is fine to use, it is up to everyone making their decision of their own if using them. We don't have to exaggerate things and I am sure that the majority of iRacing members use those kind of programs more or less because it makes the sim better. The latest update of the subject was last month in May and iRacing said that using third party programs in the World Cup series can lead to drivers being banned. But don't get scared, iRacing have understanding of the situation and are not in any way outlawing general third-party programs from iRacing. I got it confirmed from iRacing that it is only related to the World Cup races and the MP430 F1 car and some drivers there having advantages on the start of the race when using the ERSR deployment in some way. If someone is cheating and iRacing can prove it, ban them. But I don't personally see this a big deal and related to my own level of racing. And what I believe and understand is that these programs are making the sim more competitive and can contribute to more people signing up as members 
and also kind of feel that the engagement the developers behind this program are showing are quite amazing and not seen elsewhere. Something to cherish. I will be watching how this unfolds because I believe iRacing do need to clear things out what is black and what is white to use. And the overall use of third party programs are progressing and they are getting better and seamlessly integrated into the sim. Back to the topic. There have been a bunch of pit countdown program through the years. Firstly, we had the program called iBuzzer that in my opinion had the best sounds when doing the countdown. Very realistic, but the program have been discontinued. We are 10 away. Five away. Enter, 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 come on. And then we have the program called iInalus Racing and the function is definitely there and working but the whole program is at least for me eating too much CPU resources to be useful when only used the standalone feature. Three, two, one, bingo. I may have forgot some other program, but the only one left on my list is Sim Racing App Server. This lightweight program have out of the box both voice pit countdown, pit laid speed warning assist and when to shift indication. Sim Racing App Server can be downloaded from their home page and is free to use with no limitations or annoying ads. It comes with over 50 functions or widgets that can be useful when driving and is very easy to get running. Just download the latest and greatest version of the program and there are no regular installation progress. You get the program started by execute the simracingappserver.exe and the program is active in the background when you race. One thing to notice is because the program is based on Java you need to install that on your system, but that should not be a problem. You can if you want have Sim Racing App Server auto start with Windows and it also support running on phones or tablets that are connected to your home Wi-Fi. And here are some features that the program have beside the pit countdown. Chat send customizable message with the click of a button, even private messages, crew chief, control your pit changes, track map, see where all the cars are overlaid on satellite or street map images, dashes with fully working analog and bar gauges like tech, water temp, oil temp, standings, see pit time for all cars, best and last lap times, Relative, see who is near you. Race administrator, spectator broadcaster. Streaming overlay, use the CLR browser in OBS to overlay sim racing up on your stream. And there are many many more and to access them we need to go into the program's main menu using our browser. So we execute the simracingappserver.exe and look for our PC IP address that are shown on the title bar on the server window or inside the text. Copy the IP address and add it into a browser. Hit enter and you are good to go exploring. And as we can see there are a lot of features to choose from and to activate them just click on the title to the left and it will open for you. The layout and the UI of the features are not the most modern, but who cares really, because they do get the job done. For more information of uh, how to use these functions, there are a very nicely written quick start guide on the home page. From default as mentioned before, 
the program have when to shift indication active. And as I don't care much about this shift indication feature, I disable it by going into the settings and scrolling down to the text that says how the audible shift bit works. And I change the value 1 to 0. And then click save. And there are a lot of things that are customizable here. So do the changes that suits your needs. To adjust the sound level of the voice bit countdown and other features, go to the volume control and search for the Java platform and select the value desirable. I have only briefly touched the stuff this program can do running alongside iRacing. And my thoughts about it so far are that it does not take up much resources in terms of CPU and memory usage just using the pit counter feature. And it is very stable. Just run it and forget about it. You can trust the sim racing up server is doing its job. Nowadays I can't run iRacing without this program being activated. And if I do miss my pit stop or exceeding speed limit in pit lane, I can only blame myself. So go check this program out and have fun. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in future iRacing related videos.